Hi everyone, right, I am back to do more on this page. Now having sat back and looked at the water, I realised we need to do a lot more work really on the water. But I'm going to do um, a few other bits today and um, see how we go really. So I'm going to start with the boat, I think it looks like fun. So uh, I'm going to do a basic colour to start with of sienna brown. I know it's quite ready but we have got some areas here and here that look quite reddish and I just want to get a layer of brown down on the boat and then we can um, work on the um, layering up different colours. I think it's quite fun, I do like doing wood. So we're going to get that done and leave the water for a little while and then see how it sits with all the other elements done and then I can work out exactly what needs doing with it. It needs to have more depth of colour I think but then the sky is a lot paler than the original and it's okay. I think it's just something about the water, it looks a bit scruffy. So uh, anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll... Um, We'll sort that out. And I assume that Ariel um, and the Prince might be on this boat, but uh, I don't know. There we go. So that's our little initial layer. Then we're going to go in with a darker one. Just checking out. I'm going to use the espresso brown and pick out some of these details. And start with this heart. The um, actual outside is engraved in to the boat, so we want quite a hard layer. It's also a little bit darker in the middle like that. Now this boat you can see this bit is the top and then this bit is the um, sort of side so I want to try and make that look more obvious by colouring in under here where there's sort of shadow got this line here which we'll use to create a bit of um, um, texture in the wood and to make it look a bit more like there's some sort of wood grain. There's a lot of lines in the wood and again I'm going to put some dark under there where that bit would be sort of shadowing. Now I know it's not like that but uh, that's how I want to do it. And emphasize that bit um, and then we just got these sort of lines which you can see are sort of implied on the original so I'm just sort of following them really and then popping in some other lines because I think it makes it look a bit more like wood like that now this bit I'm just gonna color it a bit more evenly there we go now here, this bit is darker than the rest. I don't really know why. The um, the this these d uh, white dots. So I'm now I've already coloured over them. I'm just going to colour the, over them some more, and um, we'll go over in a white pen in a bit. I'm trying to get some lines in this wood. So there would be wood grain. This one seems slightly lighter. I don't really know why just copy that make this quite defined down here where there's a shadow <clears throat> excuse me now this one's a little bit lighter still pop in some lines this bit's really dark down here as is this bit they'll just make those quite dark and it's this one a bit lighter There we go. Now this very top bit doesn't look like that. Um, I don't. I think I'm tempted to do that dark as if it's inside the boat. And keep that a bit lighter. And maybe if we do a dark bit under there, it'll look like it's sort of overhanging. That's how I see it. It looks a bit different to that one, but that's okay. <clears throat> I just want to put a few more lines on these lighter ones. I think a bit too light. If I do lines, it looks as I said, it looks more like wood. A little bit here too. There we 
go. And so I'm now going to add the white dots with my Posca on here. There we go. Okay. And it's got a bit of shine. Ooh, can't get the lid off. On the top here. I'm going to add that on. And down here. It almost just sort of erases that black line and around there there we go is there any more? there's a bit up here I feel like I'm going to sneeze hang on I'm just going to pause oh sorry that's better <laughs> right let's do flamingos and flamingo island now I've got this rock which I coloured incorrectly I'm going to use the sienna brown again to uh, give it a basic bit of colour. I'm going to try and just tip the book up so I don't get a line. I'm getting a line anyway. It's just the fold of the cover of the book. It's a bit tricky. There we go. And that's a bit pale. So I'm going to darken it. I'm going to use the same brown as well as I did before, the espresso brown. And just sort of, it looks like it's a little bit lighter on the edge to the rest. So I'm going to start with my darker colour on the edge, outside edge. Then just let it be a bit lighter. Let's go towards the edge. Do that again. Can you see? Yeah, just about. There we go. Okay. Now we've got a lot of very dark, almost black here, but some bright pops of colour. So I'm thinking that's just probably going to be easier to do the flamingos first. Mm, yeah. Let's do that. We have a, um, let me see, I'm just looking at the colours we've got. We do have a flamingo pink, it's not quite the colour we want. I'm going to use the peony pink and do a sort of basic colour across both three, sorry, all three flamingos. This one seems to have water all over it. And uh, start with that and then add some other colours to shade them. Now it's quite bright this, but I think that's okay. I think these are, we want these to be the main feature of the picture. I just hope the paper can take some more layers of colour because obviously we need to add in some darker tones. So it can be quite good to do a base layer because it sort of helps you think about what to put where. Um, yeah the legs are pink too. It's a bit of pink in this bit and there as well. Yep just checking. Now remember if you think oh I don't know I want the legs to be pink can change it. It's your picture. You can do what you want with it. The problem with these books is that you're constantly comparing your art to the painting and it can make you feel a little bit like you aren't good enough but you have to remember that you're trying to do something very different to what was done in the original painting so uh, you mustn't um, beat yourself up. Just have fun with it. Just use it as a guide for colours. Uh, pink tongue. Pink there. Mm. So, yeah, just try and um, do your best and enjoy it. Use it as a colour guide. I mean, one way of getting around it is to do it completely differently. Do your sky and your water really differently. And then... Um, have to worry so much. 
This chap seems darker, but actually I think he is. Now a lot of the shading on these seems to me to look quite purpley. Um, just thinking, I'm thinking the ultramarine blue might be quite a good one to use. So here, look, I think that works. A bit of shadow here and here. See here, where I'm adding the shadows, you could do whatever you want. You have to follow the picture, do what instinctively feels right for you. I am sort of following the picture though. It gives me guidance and confidence, really. But I'm really just, you know, just adding what they've added, really. And trying to, um, do it dark or light depending on so here it's quite dark and then there's a little bit here so it's just a light bit and a little bit under here again just a light bit and a bit at the bottom of the neck which would make sense where it's a bit more shadowed shaded and mm, we need to do this bit of the beak uh, oh, I just didn't do that bit at all. Let's grab that pink. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. So this bit's quite pale in here. This bit's darker. I've got a bit around the eye. And this little chap, his legs are fairly darkish. Shade, he's gonna, he's got that sort of dark bit there. And a bit under here. Really, inside, around there, and this bit. Okay. And they've all got white on the tops of them as well, which we could do later maybe or soon we'll have a think about that we need to concentrate on this bit so i want these red flowers i'm going to use the old rose red that i've been using um for quite a few of the flowers i think it's quite nice to have some consistency through we have got some red flowers going on over here as well but they're not so bright uh, those are white i'm going to do them red I don't think white's going to show up. Uh, these white ones will show up though, but these there's a few red ones. I'm just going to do them a little bit lighter because they don't show up quite so much. Some up here as well. It's always quite tricky to work out which shape is supposed to be what, but I'm just just going for it really. What's that? What's that? Looks like a pipe. Is it a pipe? Hmm. I think it is. I'm going to colour it in the sienna brown. Not too dark. There we go. Right. Now I've got some lighter greens and darker greens. I think I will do a hmm, I'll do the basil green for the um, brighter leaves like these. Might be a bit too bright. I think it's okay. That's supposed to be that white flower, I think. I'm going to do it in the rose red. Like that. And here we have various, or oh, we'll do this one in this kind of, I think that's supposed to be part of the rock, I think. Okay, let's do those. 
I, uh, I just went off for a little break in between this and my last video and uh, noticed that my son had sent me a message asking me if he'd left some of his work behind. Unfortunately he hadn't so I think he must have been missing some. Which is a shame and I didn't answer his question so I hope he wasn't all in a panic. Unfortunately I didn't realise but I hadn't opened Discord on my computer so I didn't see his message. I'm just doing these sort of vague circles in this lighter colour and then I'm going to get a sort of darker green to do the rest because it's quite dark really this sort of area. Um, I'm not sure whether to do a dark green or go for black. I think I might go for a dark green and then we'll see how it oops got fares. So we use the jade green, which is dark anyway. And uh let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna put it down quite strongly because it is quite solid. And it will help our flamingos stand out that? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I knew that might be problematic if I was in here and my children sent me a message, but actually I would have missed it anyway because, um, as I said, I didn't have the software open to receive the message on. I noticed it on my tablet, but I, sh I brought that in to check and then I didn't. But hey ho. I hope he has been okay. We worry about our little ones, even though they're not so little. I think um, people reckon it gets worse, but I don't think it does at the minute. Unless they're poorly, I don't worry massively anymore. So, uh, it's not so bad. I used to worry about, one of my boys used to hate going to school. He used to cry. He used to cry on the way to school. As we approached school, he would start crying and say, I feel ill. He's sick. I'd say to him, no, no, no. If you're sick, they'll phone me up. You've got to go in. And I used to feel horrible. And I'd cry on my way home myself, thinking I was mean. But um, I came to realise that it was he had two teachers. Um, this was in primary school. And um, it was only when it was the one teacher that he used to get upset. So it made me realise it's just the class. And my other son had had that teacher too um, the year before. And he said, um, it just felt like you were being pushed really hard and they just couldn't find that hard to cope with. Which is really interesting because when they did their exams at their secondary school, the primary school is up to 11. Secondary school, they went until they were 16. They were the top boys in the school for their marks and yet they found this teacher really hard. I think what she used to do was try and push each child to their ability or beyond their ability so it didn't matter whether you were at the top of the class or the bottom she would just push everybody and they just also it was English that they struggled with um, writing and they they never liked it in fact my one son wants to do computer studies or AI or something I'm going to sneeze Sorry, he wants to do computer studies or AI for his degree and he realised that he's got to write essays for his assessments and that worried him a bit. I think he'll be fine. I'm going to go back to my basil green and just tidy up these areas because they're a bit pale and a bit messy. So uh, I think he'll be fine. He did well in his English, but um, we'll see. 
He's still got a little while to make up his mind. I said I would help him, but... Yeah. The essays. I'm a writer. I find writing easy. But I know that not everyone does. Okay. I think we need to do something with the flamingo's eyes, don't you? They look actually pink. So I'm going to do them pink. Like their eyes are shut. Hmm. No, actually, that one doesn't. I'm just going to get my black and sharpen it really sharp and do the eyes on this guy. He has got dark around there, but on this guy, he's actually got an eyeball. I'm going to draw this guy some as well. He'll look a bit less there. Uh, don't have to do that, but I just feel like it needs it. Right, so island done. We didn't do the white flowers. That's fine. Flamingo's boat. Um, ducks. Now, we've got quite brightly coloured beaks, which look a similar colour to these tulips. Is that Mm. Let's try the Tuscan Sun. I'm thinking that looks like it's the right colour. Hmm. Might be a little up more orangey, but I think it's fine. And I'm going to do the tulips now that are the same colour. So this one, I'm just going to erase the blue. It's just going to go green. So it's this one. I realise it isn't solid yellow. I may just leave it solid yellow. Because I think it looks a really pretty colour. But we'll see. Or one thing, one flower. And um, we've got a couple along here, those three are red. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's water, it should have been whited out. do have a lot of other sort of orangey colours in them which I think we'll have a go at. So we'll grab the orange and just do some bits and bobs. Start with the beak. They're a little bit dark at the bottom so I'm just going to put in that slightly darker orange like that. Now this one looks orange -er. Oranger, more orangey here. There's quite a lot of orange on this one. I'm just vaguely copying the areas of orange and also making it up myself a bit too, thinking about where it might be on the flower. Now we have a little red piece around the necks of the ducks, so I'm going to do those in our rose red. I 
I'm not going too hard because they're not too vibrant. He's just got a tiny touch. His is there. And we've got the red red, um, red tulips. I'm going to do those with this as well. I'm going to press quite hard actually because they're quite vibrant. So well, we want them to stand out. Uh, yes, all of these, that's right, but not those two, those two are pink. Okay. I'm beginning to wonder what to cook for tea tonight while I'm colouring. Um, I bought some extra mushrooms, so I'm going to do a mushroom dish. I think I am going to do my son's favourite. I'm just going to do that little white bit there because it's really bothering me. I need it to disappear because it looks a bit strange. So what I do with my mushroom dish is I cook a bit of sweet potato. I just cube it quite small and um, um, I'm just looking at these roses to figure out what colours they use to make it a bit darker. Hmm. I'm gonna use I'm gonna choose my own colour. I'm gonna use the garnet red, which is dark red, just to darken it. So the ducks are darker there. Um so yeah, cook a bit of sweet potato, which just sort of sweetens the whole sauce really. And then um, I sort of put it in a wok with some water and oil, just cook it through. And then add um, loads of mushrooms, um, I, whatever I've got, lots and lots, and cook those. But um, I might also add, I usually add some greens. I, we add have greens with every meal, so whatever greens I might have, I'm not sure what I've got, so we'll find out. And I cook, and then if I've got any other veg that needs using, peppers or courgettes or anything, I don't think I have. And then, um, I'm just guessing here with this red, like I did a bit with the orange, just adding in where I think it needs it. I'm also going to go and do these pink tulips, just while I'm doing tulips. Um, I think I'm going to use the flamingo pink, which is a bit ironic, as I didn't actually use it for the flamingos. And there is a darker one which we can use to sort of do the darker areas like we have with the others. Keeping it quite simple with just a couple of shades of colour though. So, and then I add um, frozen peas and velotti beans for protein with the mushrooms. Obviously mushrooms are quite high in protein. And uh, once it's all warmed through and cooked nicely, I uh, add some tomato sauce and a... Um, bit of um, veggie stock, just a very small amount, I don't have it too runny, and uh, serve it on some couscous, home meal, I like. I can't even see that, is that that? I think it is. I do like a home meal. Um, I think that must be, I can't really make that out in the picture, but I guess it doesn't matter. We could do our own thing. So yeah, it's uh, my son um, smothers it with cheese, grated cheddar cheese, but uh, they really like it and it's got a pack full of veg and proteins and, well, veggie protein. And so uh, it's rather quick and easy to prepare as well, which is always good, I like anyway. Um, I'm just going to use this darker pink. I've got this um, plum purple, which I'm going to use to do the sort of shading areas on the roses, just like before. Now, basically, I'm slightly using the picture as a guide, but really just thinking about where it'd be darker. So it might be a bit darker at the bottom of these petals, and then inside where they come into contact with each other. And it's just a really quick sort of loose um, shading and it just makes them look a little more finished I think oh, let's not do anything over there let's push 
finished that up a bit. So just on the edge at the bottom and higher up. Okay, that's that done. Okay. I'm trying to put a few pencils away so I can see where I'm at. Nope, they're all over the place. Right. Um, now where are we going? Um, I think we'll do the leaves. Um, they're quite they're, most of them are quite bright. Um, let's do the basil green again. I think we'll use that for the leaves. And I'm probably just going to apply it fairly thickly so that it stands out because this is our sort of bright bit of the picture. So we want the leaves to, you know, be pretty vibrant. Now after I finish this picture, I've got no clue. Well, I'm going to do a picture from the ink house. But after that, I don't really know what I'm going to do. So if you have any ideas um, of a different book that you'd like me to use, let me know. Um, I do have a video showing all the books that I've got. I have got a few more since. I made the video, which is always going to be the case, of course. But um, just um, let me know what you would like to see. Even if it's um, just an illustrator rather than a specific book. Um, we're obviously doing our Johanna Basford in the afternoon. We can do more of that, more Johanna Basford. But not um, more from Inky. Let, um, let's choose a different book. Um, I haven't done any Rita Berman for a bit. I might do some of hers. Um, I don't know. I've got lots to choose from. So uh, it'll be fun. I probably won't be recording um, for a little bit because well tomorrow I've got I'll be doing um, Ivy pictures for the afternoons. So, but um, by the time I get your comments, I would have done quite a bit more recording because um, I'm about a week ahead at the minute, and I like to be more than that ahead if I can. I think the further ahead I am, the more confident I am at making slightly longer videos. And I know some people really like the longer ones. Um, but yeah, we've got to do something with this water. I'm not at all happy with it. I'm wondering whether to just um, blend it or burnish it, or whether I should add another colour. Not sure. really don't know at this point but I just think if we can get all this greenery well everything here done oops, then it will give us a better idea as to what needs doing with it really uh, yeah that's, oh, this needs sharp this bit blunt going all out of the lines all over the place we've got to do that little um yeah we've got a few more bits to do details to do haven't we Woo! That um, has come loose. I'm just plastering the colour on so it might survive. Sorry, I'm covering up with my hand what you're supposed to be looking at to see what I'm copying. Uh, we've got this rock here, haven't we? Sort of brown. And grey. And the grasshoppers and the seashell and the rest of the ducks. Oop. <laughs> Trying to avoid sharpening. Well, it means you get to use the um you get you can use the lead up. you guys do the same thing especially with your expensive pencils these are a budget brand but for some people that's still a lot of money I realise that okay hmm 
this shell is very bright. Yes, I think this is the nearest I'm going to get, which is the Robin Egg Blue. I realise that it's not the same colour, but... It's the closest I get. Okay, next we have the... Oh, let's do the centres of these two. They're very bright yellow. Are they a Tuscan Sun? Yeah. So the Tuscan Sun that we've used already. Okay. And the centres have a little bit of grey. Um, I'm actually going to use the um, charcoal grey that we used before. Give it a sharpen. And the reason I've chosen the charcoal grey is because I know it's really the right... It's a dark shade that's going to look right and not too brown. That makes sense. There we go. That's it. I don't want to fiddle anymore. I'm going to make it look weird. Right, rock. Um, or should we do, let's do the grasshoppers first. They look like a sort of more pear green type colour, which I'm going to use. Give it a sharpen. It's brightening up a bit. I don't know if the sun's coming out. Okay. So I'm going to colour them all over in this pear green, and then we'll decide about any other colours to add. This isn't identical. If you look, you can see they're not quite this vibrant, but obviously I'm sort of matching as best I can and as best I know from the um, colours we've got. I realise we haven't finished the ducks as well. Okay, now the bottoms of them are a bit darker and I think I'm going to use oops the um, moss green the, the moss green to just do those darker areas again I need a bit of a sharpen and we're just going to think you know the bottom's going to be darker where it's in the shade the shadows That's what I'm doing. I feel like I've talked all day today. I've been recording so much. It's quite funny. Maybe I'll be quiet tonight and my family will be happy. <laughs> Although that bit, that little bit of the rock there is quite pale, I'm going to use the Sienna Brown just on this bit. And then I'm going to switch to a darker brown. Like that. And now I'm going to use the dark, whoops, the um, dark chocolate brown to do, um, I'm going to start down here where I think it said it's darkest. If you look, it's really quite black. I'm going to keep it brown. You could add, you could make this black or even very dark grey if you wanted. But I want it to be brown. And then you can start to lighten it a little bit towards the top. Um, I think it's going to be darker at the bottom. So my aim is to sort of fade that into there. We've got that sienna brown. So sort of start to fade it as we go upwards anyway. We've got a little line in the paper there. Can't get rid of it, never mind. And so the idea is to a fair bit down here 
and then less upwards. I've got this feeling I forgot to take a photo at, at a certain stage in the videos, <laughs> but never mind. I can sometimes grab one from within the video anyway. So now we're sort of getting a bit lighter. Oh, sorry. Got an itchy cheek. <laughs> it's a bit strange. It's probably a hair tickling. It's really quite bright outside now, although the sun's not coming in. It might be at the wrong angle at this time of day. I'm not really used to being in this room. So we'll see. There, I'm quite happy with that rock. I think that's fine. I don't need to worry too much about fiddling around. But what we do need is to decide on the brown for the ducks. I think I am going to just stick with this one. A bit darker at the bottom. And lighter up here. Uh, I can't work out if that's green or brown, so what I'm going to do is put a bit of brown on it and I'll put a bit of green on it as well. <laughs> those turtles, look at their faces. <sighs> okay, and the colour of green for that. Mm. Um, I think maybe the shamrock green might be the way to go. We'll try it. Just putting a bit on the here to mix them with this brown on each of them. Not there. That's it there. And then on their heads. Their eyes are shut, aren't they? Strange, the flamingos look like their eyes are shut too. I don't really know why. That that's its tummy, it should be brown. That's it. So we're a little bit darker under there, the bottom of the face with the top of the head so I'm just going to try and do that a little bit there we go and our turtles are actually the same colour as the ducks heads so let's just get in there that's a bit of brown as well I wonder what's going on. <laughs> Having not watched it. My sister actually messaged me and asked me to send her the picture that I was doing. She said she um, didn't recognise it at all. I said, not me. Not watched a film. So now I'm just putting in the sort of darker bits. I'm copying the picture to some extent, um, again like with the flowers, just sort of guessing where it would be darker and lighter according to where the light would fall. Okay, so now we're left with going back over the water. Now I need to think about, do I want to do a blue? Or do I want to do uh, just blend? And I think I want to do a blue. I want to make it darker. So I'm going to go in with the peacock blue. I've got a flower stem there. And just basically try to fill in the gaps and tidy it up. I can't remember what colour I used for the flowers. I think it was basil. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to... As I say, tidy it up, 
fill in the gaps. Try to um, make it look, all look a little bit more neat and things like that. So I want the bits that are different colours to sort of stand out. So I don't want it all to be solid. I just need to make it look a bit less scribbly. That's my aim. So if I can sort of get in there and fill in some of the areas that maybe I left white when I was just doing it quite vaguely, hopefully it will work. I'm going to leave that bit there because that was quite white. But down here is quite dark. Oops, I went over the turtle's tail. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think this bit looks a lot better than this bit. So we shall carry on. I'm going to go back over these bits though, where it's just a little bit messy. Just needs a bit of neatening up. Here, look, I sort of missed a few bits. Hopefully, it'll all sort of come together. So, you could just blend. If you're more heavy handed, you may have already got a nice finish anyway. But uh, I just felt it looked a bit sparse and messy. With a deeper colour, you can get more white on there if you want to do some white ripples and things, it will show up a little bit more. But as I said, I don't know how well the white pens show up on these particular pencils, so that could it might just disappear. Sometimes white pen does. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm running out of things to say, I'm afraid. I know I often waffle on and then I sort of forget <laughs> that I've run out. So uh, this is going to be my last video today. I shall go away and edit. Try and work it out because I've got a lot of breaks. I think the phone rang in the first one. Um, the second one I accidentally turned off at the end. Whoops. Um, before I should have done. The, um, we're getting a little bit lighter as we come up, which it does. Well, it's just really light there, isn't it? So we can still put in some dark here. And um, I sneezed a few times. So, yeah, I'm going to have some fun with the editing. <laughs> but still, I don't have to chop anything out. I just have to make sure I put the right bits together. <laughs> so, uh be fun. I was uh, I was editing earlier um, the picture of all the pictures I'd coloured in April and I realised I've missed two out, two of the pictures that I coloured, I just totally forgot. So They were on my list, I just didn't show them to you, but um, they were tutorials so you've seen them if you, if you followed my tutorials. One was the, um, um, the rabbit from um, the miniature secret garden Johanna Basford book I'd done that so long ago I'd forgotten all about it and one was the circle of life the hens picture so I'd forgotten about that one too <gasps> dear me but uh, anyway it's 
that there was still plenty to look at. I, think it, I don't know how long the video was actually, I didn't end up looking. But there's still plenty to unwatch and see. I'm going to try and sort of avoid this slightly, this area that's a bit lighter. I think we can put in a bit more over here and up here. And then it's a little bit darker this side compared with that centre part. I might just put a few more lines across. It's just um, putting a little bit here around these flamingos flowers. Being a bit fussy now. But it doesn't look anything like the um, picture. But I'm okay with it. I'm happy with it now. I wasn't before. But I am now. But I'm going to get some white and see if I can get any white to sort of show up. Like on the bottom of the boat here. I don't think it's showing up because the blues are so um, light. It should be white, white across here. It's just not, not going to show up. We could try a bit on the, on the flamingos now. Not sure that's really showing up that much. Whether it's worth it. I'm also putting my hand in where it's already wet, which is not ideal. we go. I'm going to make that go. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry, I don't know if I cut that sneeze out or not. <laughs> there we go. So I am going to leave that there. Put the pen there to hold the page down. Um, so that is our um, Disney. Oops, does not want to fit in, does it? Let's zoom out a little bit. I don't know why it's, it just looks strange angle. Let's take this book out. Maybe that will help us. Oof. There we go. There is our page. So as you can see, it looks very different. But um, I had fun with it. I think it's okay. Um, hopefully it's um, made you feel confident that you can have a little go. Which is obviously um, the whole point of, uh, of me doing it so uh, there we go so thank you for watching um, please do um, like and subscribe um, to support the channel it's always much appreciated enjoy the rest of your day and happy colouring